Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to start a striper rig. You know, how to set up a striper rig, striper leader, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, first of all, sorry about the heater. It makes a lot of noise. It gets cold in here. Um, yeah, so to start, what I like is a size eight Gamagatsu circle hook, because you have to use them now, inland circle hook, as you can see there. And then what I like is the Seagar 50 pound floral. Uh, what I like to do is I like to take about, you know, probably about 18 inches to, you know, 28 inches of, of this line. And then what I like to do is do a Crawford knot. So basically put it through there, bring it up and around and turn this line into an E pretty much. So you see how it's kind of like an E in a way? Like if you see that, you look at that. I don't know if you can really see it good, but it's kind of like an E, right? Get the hook hanging down there. Put it over the once. Just, it's kind of hard to see, but you put it over once, right? And then you put it over twice. And it looks like this. If I can get the hook out of my hand. This is hard to demonstrate, eh? And it's gonna look like this, right? Then all you do is you come back up, put it back through this top one. Wet it and pull it. And you got your Crawford knot. This is the knot that I like to use for, you know, basically anytime I have fluoro, mono, anything like that. And you just want to give it a snip. See if these pliers will work on the first try. Yes, sir. Boom. So now you basically got part of your leader made. All you want to do now, so now you want a swivel. Uh, there's not a specific swivel that you need, like right here. Um, I don't know what kind this is. This is either a tsunami or a spro. Just make sure, you know, it's 120 pound swivel. Just, you know, even that's a little extra. You don't necessarily need it that heavy. Or even the spros, like they come at like 225 pound swivels, you know. It's just like, you don't necessarily need it. But it's good to have the extra weight because you never know what's going to bite your line in the ocean. You could get a huge shark, you could get whatever, you know what I'm saying? So you just, you never know. You never, you never want to take the chance of breaking off because your swivel was too small. But then, you know, you do go up here, do the same exact knot, do the same Crawford knot, show you again. So pull it around, make the E. Let me get a little longer this time, kind of looks like an E. See that? Put that down there, around once, around twice, comes up to this, and then you just put it through, back through that top little hole right there, and pull it. You end up with that. Kind of hard to see. Yeah, and then you got, this is your leader for striper. Then, basically what you would do is, uh, we're just gonna use this as my main line. So pretend this is my main line right here. Basically what you do is, if you're fishing with bait, you wanna take one of these, right? One of these, it's called a fish finder or a slider. This is where you attach your weight. So you can use from one out, whatever you want to use, whatever size bait you're using. You're fishing dead bait, you're going to want to go heavier. You're fishing live bait, you want to go lighter. You're fishing live bait, you want to go with like, you know, something small, like a one ounce weight just to keep it down there. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep them, you know, swimming around or whatever. I don't have a one ounce weight. Oh yeah, I do right here actually. I'm going to use a one ounce weight just like this. Slip it on there. Clip it. Boom. And then you do the same process. You just slide this right on. 
And once you slide that on, you tie it right to your thing. In this, I would like to I like to use the fisherman's knot with braid. This I like to use the fisherman's knot with braid. Sorry, I didn't realize I wasn't in the camera. And this I like to use the fisherman's knot. You just basically twist the line around five times. Five to ten times, however many you feel comfortable with. Make sure you have enough entry room, which I don't. Just put it through the bottom little hole that there is there. And basically pull it tight. And that's basically all it is. You just wrap it around as many times as you want. Put it through that little bottom hole there. Pull it tight. And you get left with that. And so now basically you have a striper rig that's attached to your main line. This is what it would represent. Obviously it's not like that right now, but this is basically what it represents, right? So this is the line, right? You've got your weight, you got your main line, you got your hook with your bait, say it's let's try to do it like this here. Say your bait and your thing is on the ground, so is the line. The fish is gonna take it. The fish doesn't feel the weight because it just slides right through. Which is a huge, huge, huge advantage because then they'll just start taking the drag. And if you have a bait runner reel, which I have one of those, but I also have I'll just leave the drag reel real loose or I'll just be holding the rod in my hand, especially when I'm bait fishing. And you know, you have the bail flip, they hold it, and then doop, they'll just take the rod and you just give it a flick, set the hook. We'll show you that when it comes time for that season, which is coming up soon. It's February now, give it three months. They'll be here. We'll be we'll be out there on the boat fishing in three months. Uh yeah, this you can say you wanted to switch it up and fish for dead bait. All literally, you can switch it up while it's on the line. You know, if that's another question that anybody has, which I don't think is, but you know, you can just switch it up without an issue if it's on the line or not. It doesn't matter. You want to go heavier? All right, we'll put the two ounce on there. This already has a fish finder on it. I just call them fish finders. But yeah, this one's already got a fish finder on it because I was using it for tautog. And I was making my own Tata rigs. But yep, that's basically about it. Um, that's a striper rig. To the extent, if you're trolling, uh, you can literally use the same thing. You're just going to want to use a longer leader. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, if jigs, any lures, you want to just use the same thing. Just don't make your leader too long. Don't make your leader too short. Do it. Do what you're comfortable with. Um, make sure you can cast. Also, it's different for shore fishing and boat fishing. Boat fishing, you don't have to have as long of a leader because, you know, you're on a boat. It's, you know, you can just flip a fish right up. Being on shore, you want a longer leader. You got rocks that you can just get caught up into. There's so much more stuff you can get caught up into. And it's just like, you know, you don't want to have a shorter leader, which means it could nick in the same spot twice, and then poof, the fish is gone and your lure is gone. Rather than a long leader, it'll just nick in a bunch of different spots, and you just, worst case scenario, you gotta change the leader. Uh, yeah, but that just about wraps it up for this video. Um, more videos on the way soon. Trout fishing today, terrible. Didn't catch anything, nobody else caught anything. Um, yeah. Hopefully the fishing kicks up soon. Um, like, subscribe, share the video, and, and keep it on a roll.